It's g'day, Bruce Thompson, tomorrow, and farming, um, mixed farming areas of southern New South Wales, growing predominantly grains, uh, wheat and canola, and uh, yeah, just working through farming systems and how to improve doing all that, I guess. Consideration came after looking at farming systems in South America in, and North America in 2007 and the a visit to a wheat and corn improvement centre in Mexico called CIMIT and the system seemed to be all centering around DIS and the future of DIS seeding systems uh, going for Running a Seraphim Altiso, which is a uh, modified uh, Brazilian units and for Australian conditions considered uh, a bit sturdier in the bearings in a few areas and uh, and it's on a um, seraphim or a griffith made uh, bar or frame and uh, we're really happy with the build of that and the reason we've chosen that unit system is we've gone to the size of the disc is what we wanted to target which is a 20 inch disc well maybe less chance of hair pinning or stubble problems in the row. We go to larger discs. So that's the area we've targeted and that seemed to fit very well. The um, this seed of performance has been very good. What we've had, we've only had the one season so we haven't got anything to compare it to. And it was a season that was very mild. It wasn't uh, wet or damp and people were able to burn stubbles right through the whole sowing period. So the limitations of the machine probably weren't showing up. We had a couple of times we had hair pinning um, when driving it during drizzling rain and moist conditions at night. And uh, but we soon learned to back off out of that. And uh, But yeah, it did what we wanted or expected of it. Maintenance was, uh, has been higher than a normal time machine, but we've also expected that. We bought a mach the machines have individual depth control on each unit. It's a more precise sewing machine, so it's going to require more maintenance. Mm -hmm. We consider with the time it would take us to burn a lot of wheat stubbles, to sow our canola, um, takes weeks. And uh, so, yeah, we didn't spend that sort of time on maintenance. So... We consider it still fair enough what we're doing with it. Seed placement and plant establishment was what we're after. Mm -hmm. Seed placement's very good. That's all very fine depth settings and uh, it's the places we had issues with was probably um, chaff build up behind harvesters. That's when that would affect seed placement or seed depth. But as far as the machine went, it was uh, anything into any cereals was really good. We judged it on canola. We thought that was the hardest thing to establish into wheat stubble. And yeah, we need to sort some spreading systems out on the back of our harvesting more, but we're really happy with the result we got. Want to fire and improve, we would tend to, um, we want to leave more standing stubble. So we're wanting to go to a narrower depth wheel. The ones on them are probably five inch wide, five inches wide on a 10 inch row spacing. We consider we could probably come back to two and a half or three inch. That would allow more standing stubble. And maybe if we could control and sow between the rows more, that would, um, that would be a lot better going forward. We've modified we we'll changed them slightly. We've dropped trefflin out of the system. That's not new for us. We dropped it years ago for a while because of lack of control on some things. But we've uh, backed off on the sulfur ureas or low green, and we're adding zinc for um, sort of better root development on our cereal grains. And because we're not working below the seed now, we were with a time machine. We're considering 
will lose early season vigour and probably more mm. prone to rhizoctonia. And so we've modified a few things, but we're still trying to work it out being in this first year, what we can and can't use and how it's affecting the establishment. Uh, I really uh, consider the system we're working towards is a, uh, a, probably the future of farming. People in mixed farming instances, maybe they will, um, a time machine is more suited where they're going in and out of pastures. But for um, anybody who's into cropping systems, I think the disc seeder is probably a really good fit. And there's such a wide range on the market. People can um, choose from any number of different machines to do any sort of job. Mm. So we're happy with the investment. And this is probably one thing that could have the biggest gain or impact on our business whether that's good or bad, going forward. So that's why we've chosen to change our cedar. So we're happy with it.